Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We're going to do an unboxing today of an RPG product. That RPG product is the current third edition of the Harn Master Fantasy RPG. This is, of course, the system that was designed to exclusively work with Harn, although I feel like it's an interesting system in its own right, and I hope to get to a mechanical examination in a future video, but for now we're just going to do an unboxing. So what we got here is a two-inch box. Uh, feels pretty full. Um, this is the standard Columbia Games type of box that um, has a sleeve and then a, uh, an interior box. We'll see that in a second here. So let's pull the shrink wrap off. Now I will point out that there are two different versions of this around right now. There's this one, Harn Master, and then there is a Harn Player box. There will be an unboxing of that along presently. Um, and I am not clear on what the difference is between the two. So this is Harn Master, and we'll pull the sleeve off. Uh, I like the art. This is this old Harn Master art. I want to say it's an Eric Hotz cover, but um, uh, this has been the cover art for Harn Master for quite a while. So at one point, uh, the edition of Harn Master that I've actually run, I think was the third edition, but it was an earlier version than this. At one point, Columbia Games had been giving away uh, that edition in PDF. So we have a an inside box here, which is corrugated cardboard, um, and which is pretty handsome, actually, more so than one normally gets, and, and quite slightly sealed. All right, so what we have inside is a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see what we got. Set that aside out of the way for now. So we have a little Harn catalog here um, with Harn World um, and cute little previews of a couple of the articles. Uh, most of this stuff is available in PDF. This is the print version, obviously. Um, one thing that's really pretty nice, I think, is that this comes with a couple accessories that you'd kind of want, um, including a Game Master screen. This is not the current trend of Game Master screens where they're on like this sort of super thick hard-mounted thing. This is um, more of the old school um, lighter cardboard, but it's ne nevertheless relatively heavy. Um, this is also a relatively streamlined version of the game um, compared to the original game or Harn Master Gold, which is its own thing um, and which I hope to get to cover at some point. Um, this should pretty much, I mean, there's a lot of tables here, um, but this basically ought to cover all the tables that you need to play this system. I'm reasonably sure, including the travel time table, which is actually always nice to have on a screen. Uh, we have a giant... Um, a loose leaf rules package which we'll look at in a second here and we have a pad of character sheets which is another nice little thing um, that uh, I don't see as often as I would like. Um, these are very familiar to me. Um, they are very serviceable character sheets. Um, I've used these before for the last campaign that I ran. Uh, at one point I was the kind of dork that uh, always made his own character sheets for various games. Uh, but the standard on character sheets is so much higher now than it used to be that I don't really think I want to do that anymore. Um, so this comes wrapped, and off the top of my head, I'm trying not to destroy anything by taking it out of the bag here. Um, this is loose leaf, so you'll have to put this in a binder. Um, it is on a really quite nice paper, actually. So let's... Let's have a quick leaf through, bearing in mind that, again, I will do a mechanical walkthrough in a later, um, a later video. So we're not going to get too deeply into the mechanics. So like the Harn setting materials, uh, and again, if you're not aware, the Harn setting materials are essentially completely system neutral for, for the most part. There's a couple products that are exceptions, but generally they're, they're completely statistic free. Um, but like those materials... Um, this is organized into articles. So we have an introduction, which is just two pages of general information. Um, we have a big character creation process here. If you watched my video on High Colonies, you'll have some idea how this works, but um, I do feel like, at least based on what I saw, which is, was of course not the whole game, um, that this is a more mature system. Um, a crap load of occupational skills and stuff. Um, there's, so there's a 30-page character chapter. 
Um, here's the skills. Um, the skill system in Harn Master is actually quite n cute and elegant as well. Cute is such a terrible word to use. I, I do really kind of like it. It is a percentile based system um, where you're basically trying to roll under some multiple of your uh, skill rating. Character creation is relatively involved, um, but I don't mind that based on the thinking that um, you're going to get a lot of play out of that few hours that you invested in character creation. And let's face it, some people uh, take hours to create D&D characters where character creation is not particularly involved. Here we have a combat chapter, 24 pages of skills, by the way. This is full color, and it's on this really quite nice cream paper. Um, you can get this in PDF and print it yourself, of course. Um, not sure that would be cheaper, but it might be. Um, Looks like there's 20-some pages of combat. Uh, but these are not super-duper dense rules uh, rules layout here, so it's not like... It's not as dense as, it, as that makes it sound like. Um, so 26 pages of combat. Uh, this also includes rules for mounted combat, jousting, and some other stuff, too. So stuff that's not going to come up all the time. The basics of combat are actually relatively simple. It is table-based derivation, and it is, in a sense, not that dissimilar uh, from table-based... Um, combat in Rollmaster, except that there's only one table, and everything happens on that table. Um, again, I'll talk about that in, in greater detail at a later time. So we have the Physician chapter, which actually talks about the Physician's Guild, uh, but also is the chapter on wounds and stuff, um, and recovery. So that covers that. That's four pages. Psionics. This is actually something that's like, ah, Psionics, fantasy game. It's a really pretty low fantasy game, at least by some measure. Um, so why do we have psionics in here? But it, the way it works is actually pretty neat. You actually generate, the GM generates in secret psionic talents for the characters. And then, then the GM can do stuff with those and say, oh, you, you, you feel uneasy based on the, um, the psychic talents of the characters that they, they, neither they nor their players know about. Uh, I've always actually liked this system. And it's, this is one of the things that led me to run um, my last campaign using Harnmaster rather than some other system um, with which my players would have been more familiar. So we have a campaign section. Now, but again, this is the whole rules, um, uh, the whole rules version of the game rather than um, the, just the player's version. So we get this campaign section. Um, this talks about how to handle time and travel, uh, and travel, here's the travel stuff, uh, future history, so actually let's bring this up. Um, so the, the calendar used on Harn is the Tuzan Reckoning calendar, and it is the year 720. No Harn material ever, aside from maybe some fan stuff, has gone past that 720. There is a, a large amount of mega meta plot in the sense that there's a lot going on that you can use, but there is no meta plot in the sense of there is this ongoing story that is created for you by the designer and or developer and or publisher. Um, it is 720 when it starts. You can of course set your campaign earlier if you want. If you want a meta plot, there's tons of history, um, but there, that's not done for you. You you are going to design. Through the course of play, you and your players will create that plot. Um, it is not laid down for you by publisher, which is, you know, a, a, a thing that was very popular to do for a while. Um, there's encounter rules in here. There's some things that you can't, some encounter tables too. Um, there's this uh, journal that you can either you use as the game master or your player you can print off for your players to use or oh and, a, and a, an event calendar that's cool so there are uh, there's a random event um, thing here where is that somewhere in here there's like campaign events here's rant campaign events um, which you can randomly generate or pick one if you want or just decide based on the needs of your campaign and how that's going to work out. But you can uh, also do it randomly and that can give you guidance as to what's going to happen in your campaign. We have a treasure, there's 16 pages of campaign. We have a treasure chapter here, uh, which is all about treasure. Potions and elixirs, gems and jewelry... 
nice big table of gems, as you would expect, you know, based on if you were a fan of the old um, AD&D Dungeon Master's Guide, the first edition. Um, written works, a huge thing of written works. Here's a, a chart of, of languages and scripts. So for the Harnock Isles, for example, you have two ancient languages, Selenian and Kruni, um, and then the three middle languages, and then modern languages in which you might find uh, written works, books, or scrolls, or what have you. Um, here's the thing for armor. Here's something for artifacts. So magic in Harn, using Harn Master anyway, um, using another system, honestly, you can just use that system, um, it has some really interesting aspects to it, and it's another one of those reasons why I elected to go with Harn Master uh, for my last Harn campaign, which was a while ago. But hopefully that will be changing soon. And more about that in due time. Um, so here's a bunch of artifacts. Quite a few artifacts, and some Earthmaster artifacts too. So the Earthmasters are the lost inhuman civilization that vanished a long time ago. Um, here's a bestiary. Um, so you, I think there's a whole separate bestiary available. I will have to check in on that. But you have a big chart with uh, statistics and stuff. Um, and you can, of course, buy individual bestiary entries in PDF from Drive RPG. Or RPG now, or however we're calling it nowadays. I tend to call it Drive Through RPG. Um, here's a big article on the Gargoon, uh, the Orcs of Harn. Quite big article, actually. Uh, Twelve pages on uh, the Orcs of Harn. Uh, another looks like good size article on the Avashu, which are the creations, the misanthropic creations of the the god Ilvir. Um, here's the Yelgri, the Harnic Har Harpy. So I wouldn't call this. And there's an index, which is nice. Um, and then you have a little charts and tables thing on the back. This is all replicated on the Game Master screen, but this is the one you can hand out to the copy and hand out to the players, as it were. And a copy of the character sheet as well. Um, I wouldn't call this a full-featured bestiary. Um, there's not that much there. On the other hand, um, you can easily run hard in such a way uh, that the main enemies that the party encounters are humans. Um, in that case, having a relatively succinct bestiary is maybe not such a bad thing. That said, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff uh, that you can download from drive to rpg uh, containing additional monsters. I would particularly commend the material on the Harnick Undead, uh, which do have some fairly unique features. So that is the... Current edition of Harn Master um, in the box. Um, really quite nice box. Um, I'm not that crazy about this whole two-piece box thing, I guess, but that's me being curmudgeonly more than anything else. There's really nothing wrong with it, and it's definitely sturdy. Um, the whole thing is pretty handsome. You probably want to get your own binder um, to put that in. You're obviously not going to keep it, um, keep it loose like that. Um, so you'd have to get your own binder um, to put those rules in. Um, but aside from that, it's uh, quite a nice package. Um, and it's, a, as I mentioned, and as I will describe in greater detail in a future video, um, it's a relatively interesting system. So that's the, the third edition of Harn Master, the current version, direct from Columbia Games. This was provided to me courtesy of Columbia Games, so uh, thanks for that. Um, there's more Harn Master unboxings and Harn Master content coming, so um, stay tuned for that. Next week, we will see an unboxing of Harn Player, which is the player's version of this box. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.